Okay, so today we're gonna be checking this out on this 2002 Chevy Silverado that we have here. Um, I don't know if this is true or not. I looked it up and this is what I was told. So, uh, hang on. So this down here is your OBD2 data port. So we got this code reader, which I already know what's wrong with the truck, but uh, when we plug it up and turn the key on, it's supposed to be powering up right now, but it ain't. So <clears throat> what I found via looking it up on the World Wide Web was, uh, I think it's fuse number 41, which is the, uh, <laughs> I forget what it was called. Hang on. All right. So on the actual panel right here, it shows cigar which is the um cigarette lighter in these old old ones so it's this one right here 15 amp we're gonna pull it let me see now see that little horseshoe shaped piece right there that ain't a horseshoe no more she burnt so we're gonna get in this panel in here because there's also a fuse panel in here. It's got another fuse panel. Oh, I ain't got no 15 amp fuses. Well, I three, a 10 and a 25. So we're gonna walk in the shop and see. I think I got some in here. I'm not real sure, but I think we might have some 15s in here. Stand by. Okay, so I don't have any micro fuses in there, so. I, I'm gonna stick his 25 in there for the time being and see what it does. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Yeah. See how that one's complete? So it's still good. All right, so we're gonna plug this back up to this port, turn the key on. Oh, she powered up already. So, there's going to be some dinging. But, we're going to run this. I already know what the problem is. I just want to see if this tells me the same thing. <laughs> Read tones. All right. So, that shows... Mass or volume airflow, a circuit range. Uh, manifold absolute pressure. Uh, I don't know what that is. Throttle pedal position sensor. I know when that happened. I already fixed that. I don't know what that is. Mass airflow circuit range. Manifold absolute pressure. So let's go back. Let's go down. Erase codes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Please turn ignition on and the engine off. Press enter key. Continue. Okay. It's probably still going to give me all the same other codes. These vehicles has no fault codes. T crank it. <laughs> so, as you can hear, and you can smell, y'all can't smell it, but I can smell it. It's, uh, the ECM is messed up on it, which is causing it to fire at the wrong time. It's not giving me a misfire code, but I know that's what's wrong with it already. Um, mainly because I've already disconnected the air box and all that stuff, so I know that the air breather is working good. Um, it's got a new filter in it, all that good stuff. It's got new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, all that stuff. So I'm fairly certain that, uh, that that is the only issue left with it. So 
And anyway, the whole reason of this video was to show you how uh, how to get power back to your OBD2 power port to be able to run a diagnostic on there and see what's going on with it. And as you can see, we got this working. So I hope that was helpful. Now on to the next problem with the truck, which will be fixed next hitch when I get home. See y'all later.